Look at this, Rex Howe, he's giving me a hat. Good old boy, John, thanks very much. Today we're going to um, a subscriber's house to do some work. Firstly, big shout out to Ideal, they've sent James a little package. So we're gonna give that to him, hopefully we can get a reaction. <laughs> Let's go and pick him up and see what he's saying. <laughs> So we are, we've just been to screw fix actually, and they're really helpful. I've got to pick up something for a gentleman that lives over the way from me. His wife isn't very well. There's James, he's in the picture. And um, I've managed to pick it up and they did really well. I went to a different screw fix, they transferred it over to me and I've picked it up for him. We picked some other bits up. And we've got James, a little, look. David, thanks very much, ideal. I haven't looked at it, so I know what's in it, but he doesn't know what's in it. It's quite nice actually, mate. That. Oh, that's good, isn't it? It's very nice. So what is that? <laughs> that's your continuity tester. Yeah. You know when we proved dead? Yeah. So I'm going to get you a proving unit. I'll get you that. What else is in there? What's that? What is that? Some locks. That's so you've good. got a lock-off kit. Lock-off kit. Yeah. And some signs. That's really good. So that's your job now to lock off yeah. and prove dead, yeah? Yeah. That's going to be his job now to do that, save me doing it. So we are now got, I don't normally drive this far for work, but it's a subscriber, so I'll make an exception. Um, and he seems a nice guy. We've got about an hour, I think, possibly. But we're going to go and get a coffee first, as always. And then we'll get to the job, and then we'll show you around. Here we go. We've got a socket here. James has gone to get the tester and his new lock-off kit. He's going to lock the board off for me. And we've got to add a socket in here first. Adding a new socket here, hopefully off of this existing one. This is a new build, so fingers crossed, we're all good to go. We're gonna get on with it. Little trick for you, get to your really sharp knife and you can peel those off because the old blue tack trick doesn't work on everything. So just nip them out. So here's our existing socket, twisted us. We will take that off. We're gonna do a test here quickly first. Make sure we got continuity on the ring. Then we're going to spur off the ring through that wall, hopefully. James is looking for his nice little locking off kit. He's getting all the bits relevant to what we need and he's going to go and lock that off for me. Tang thing first. Right, put your padlock down because you need both hands. So he goes on there. Positive. Yeah, that's it. Like that. No, no. So put the top of the thing on the top of the MCB. Yeah. Yeah. Look, that's that. it. That's it. Right, hold it there now, and then get your screwdriver. Go underneath and tighten that up. Might be the other way. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. It might be the other way. It's that way. There that you way. go. Look how awkward this lid is. Yeah. Can you get your screwdriver through that top? Mm, no. Just, just about. I reckon. If I do that. It's tightening up, yeah. Look from the side, and you'll be able to see. That's it. If you tighten and keep going, it'll be all right. Really? It's stuck. Take it off then, and then give it a little tighten now. Make sure you tighten now. Is it tightening? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So try again. Undo it a little bit then. Obviously, it was too far apart, wasn't it? That's it, now tighten that. Right, let me pull that up for you, come on. That's not gonna work. Not gonna go in, is it? No. No. Maybe we try it from the bottom then. Ain't gonna work there. Just get some more. Right, let's. So that was awkward, we finally locked off. We're gonna just do some tests here, make sure we have got a ring continuity. Um, yeah, the Hagar board, the lid doesn't go up enough, so you can't get your screwdriver in. So I had to use the leader man. I've given James some, haven't I? Let's have a quick look. That's the wrong thing. That's the, you're in your pack. Yeah, there we go, look. So the leader man ones are those little silver ones. That fitted perfectly. It was, it's a little, a little bit better than that one that David gave me, so. Anyway, if you're locked off, you've seen the picture. It's for James's benefit, really, but it's safe working practices. Yeah, we've got to do it. So we're gonna test here. What we then do, we'll pop this box out, see where the wood is, try and drill through, and then we've got to get out through this wall into that corridor. So we've got a full house, which is nice. 
393976, which looks about right to me. So I'm going to pop this box off now, obviously trying not to trip out the um, the CPC and the neutral because it's a split load board. That's why we like RCBOs. So that can go off, mate. We'll get on and see what we can do now. So we've got a socket here. It is clear all the way in the wall there. You can't obviously see that, but there's a timber here, which where you would expect it. And there's probably one, there's one here, okay. So we're gonna, this isn't a structural wall. So we've gone dead center of the corridor because it's gonna look right. There's a mirrors dead center. We're gonna multi-tool that out. Um, James gone to get it. And then hopefully I can just drill straight back in. I'm in that cavity wall then. That's the theory. That's what I'm hoping. That's gonna put us in that wall. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> there he goes. Top man. He's a top man. Look at that. Did you bring the tripod? No. No, I didn't ask you to, did I? That's fine. Oh, the, uh, where was that? Outside? No, it was just the back Oh, in the van, yeah. Cheers, mate. Can we bring the earplugs? No. <laughs> Alright, we can get them. So what we're going to do is leave that like that because we're happy with that. We're going to put that on there. We're going to put the socket on and then we're just going to fill around the edge. Should, shouldn't notice it. What do you think, James? No, it'll be fine, I think. That'd be all right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll do that then, mate. It's all right, isn't it? There's the two timbers and that's the wall timber. So in theory, I can drill through there. Bring me right out in that socket, hopefully. No plasterboard boxes inside. Put your finger in that socket, mate, through the wall. There he is, look. Hello! <laughs> there he is. Don't know how I do it for the money, James, sometimes, mate. Don't know how I do it. <laughs> There we go, the client gave me a detail to match what is in this new build. Here I come, here I come. What socks have we got on? Let's have a look, James. <laughs> oh my God, what are they? What the hell are they, school man? Socks. I'm gonna have to get you some. Are they your school socks? Probably, yeah. <laughs> look, huh? I'm gonna get him some for Christmas. That's his Christmas present. David, send him some ideal socks. <laughs> There's the cable, he comes from the new socket. Um, just gonna connect that in to give it a good test. So I'm back to using my lead um, for the minute, which is fine. Because we had a little accident with this yesterday. But maybe James will tell you one day what happened, but it ain't working anymore. <laughs> right. James, yeah. on the RCD, what does it say? Is it A, C or A? Type A? Yeah. Is it? Has it got the two sine waves? Yeah. It has. Oh, legend. James was right then. We had a little bet. Right, 0.63. All right, hold on, mate. I'm just going to write this down. Zero. Uh, I'll put it on here and then I'll transfer it to 0 0.63 uh, for loop. I certify if anyone's wondering. And then we do the RCD. Right. So type A. Test. It might fail. I'll have to do it manually if it does. Hagar for some reason. Whatever you want to call them. Hagar. Hagar. Hagar there. Through within 300. Mm -hmm. 
So we're going to record times five highest, which is 32.4 milliseconds. Right, next job. <laughs> David the client sat in there. <laughs> I'll take my mask off. There's no one around. Right, now we've got to put two, we've got an existing pendant. Here we've got to put, this is client's desk. So we've got, obviously you can see that shadow, um, that cast. So we're gonna put two spotlights in here. I've just had a look through the pendant and we've got a timber smack bang where we actually wanna put a light. Um, so we're gonna go a little bit further out, which I think will look quite nice actually. It will cast a shadow on this wall and on that wall. Um, and they're just gonna be switched via the, um, the same switch. Um, so luckily the timbers run this way, the way they run, so we're gonna fish across, come to our first one, and then hopefully we'll be able to get to the pre-knockout holes in the beam, but I'll show you as we get into it. Um, James has gone to get the lights and the DAD from the van. <laughs> right, we have measured our lights. Oh, it's very exciting, this I know, but people like this. So we've got a timber there, and we're trying to match the light. So we went 400, but there's some pipes above, so I've come across a couple of centimeters, that's gonna be our first light. And then we're gonna replicate, but obviously we've got we've got 400 centers here. So we've got a timber there. We've got a timber there. So we've come across a little bit. We've got about 25 mil gap from the timber. So the light will go there, there. So hopefully we've only got to find holes through one, two timbers. But bearing in mind, we have got pipes there, James. Don't be yeah. drilling nothing. And then we've got to get a cable from here along wire these two. But again, we will show you as we go. <laughs> Just do a really slow credit yeah. at the end of a load of rubbish pictures. Yeah. There we go. Absolutely marvellous. Right, there we go. There's our holes. As I said, I've got a timber here. We're going to have one here. One here. So hopefully we can drill. Find a pre-knockout in there and find out where we're going to go. Yeah, you know, I can't feel. What's that? There's some cable there. That's power. That's power upstairs sockets. There we go. So we've got power upstairs sockets there, which is probably that bedroom, isn't it? Yeah, we've got bedroom above yes. here, haven't we? And then we've got power clip to there. So we're gonna to have to get through that one. No. I'm only seven and a half staying, boy. Oh, it's gas, James, that's even worse. Oh, Jesus. But if you can see above there, there is a cable. That's so we have got a hole drilled already. In that one. So we'll probably get the ferret cam in. Yeah. And uh, be able to get across there with that. <laughs> that's horrible, don't like that. Gas, gas running in the property, it's horrid, isn't it? There's the pendant. There. James is going to poke me a rod up. This is the gas pipe that we've got to avoid. So we're going to go under the gas pipe. Cable's going to be sat on the plaster board. And then obviously there's my hand. It's going to run to that point there. The battery's good. It's got three bars, mate. That's good. And then there's the hole. There's the hole there, look. See? Look at that. There's the hole that we can actually fish through. Um, the pre-made hole in the timber. And then there's one the other side as well, which we'll just go for. Because he's big enough, look, he's only got one, two, five in. Yeah, stick stick, um, stick him out and we'll, we'll see if he comes out, mate. You might want to use a bendy one, but no, use that, it should be alright. It's the middle one, so. Yeah. And so red is like middle bendiness, go on then. So I'll, I'll put the camera back over there. Hopefully we'll see the rod. So you're hitting this, you're hitting the floor there. That's yeah. it, push that way. Keep going. Go on. That's it, there he comes. I'm gonna get another one on there. Could have used your gecko actually, mate. Yeah. Couldn't he? Probably. <laughs> Probably. 
He's gone for yellow now. What's the yellow one? That's the flexi one. That's the flexi one, all right. Yeah. Well, there's a bit of glue on the ceiling. See that? So yes. if you sort of twiddle him and push him through, it'll go through that glue. Go on, give him a little bit of a shove. Go on, shove it. Twist and shove, go on. What's the end of that rod? It's gonna go in my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, no? No, you're still caught, look. Go the other way, where you had it. Now push it across. No, not there. Right, push it in there. That's it, that's it, push there. Go on, go on, go on James, get it through that. That's it, come on, lovely. That's it, right up there now. Look, put it out of the way. That's beautiful, come on mate. Right, I'll stop there, that's right with my hand. Superb. Yeah. I'm not going to say it. Nick will say it. You good job. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right, we'll get a cable over and then we're going to get him through these hole streams. So put the cable in the air. <laughs> it might help if we got the cable in the end, mate. Might. So what are you using there? The sock? Yes. Yeah. He goes right in. Yeah. Okay. Is he nice and tight if you pull him back, yeah? Nice and familiar. Okay. I'm ready when you are, mate. Yeah. You got you gotta push him to me, mate, I think, if you've got to get him through. No pushing. Will he not go through? He's not going. Alright, I don't know. Bloody superb, mate. Right. So we, we managed to put the cable um, sock to fluorescence. That one's James's that they sent him in his little tool bag, which was good. Look, I managed to get through the holes and no drillage needed. We literally put the ferret up there. I pushed the rods through and managed to meet them in the middle and then just guide him through. So that was fan bloody tastic. So here's our board. It's sort of typical new build. We we know they're, they're on a price. They got to do it quick. At least you can understand it. Um, I just worry about these tails. They're in the fabric of the building, and we've got a ensuite. So it's it's over three meters distance. We know that. So we've got two tails running through up the wall above the ceiling. So we're going to go out now, have a look where the fuse is and see what RCD protection they've got on these tails. Gas, electric, electricity. So we've got mains in on a little board, comes in, we got an isolator, comes out of an isolator, goes through an isolator. They have put a fuse on it. They've put a switch fuse on it because it's over three meters. So that will have a fuse in it, 100 amp, I guess. I'm not taking it out. But there's no RC protection. So these cables running in the cab cavity up through the ceiling, down the wall with no protection on them. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have you seen this on new builds? To me, we should have an RCD on these cables because it's not an unearthed conduit or there's no earthed covering on it, yeah? So I'll get that anyway, look, 100 amp. What's that? If we're coding, what are we coding? <laughs> what are we coding that as? That's not IP4X, is it? Jesus. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Only a little bit we got to put a little blob to set up. That was where I put the test probe up, screwdriver, and it hit the timber. So, Mr. Two Lights, should we get a Sani, James? Next job on the list is a outside socket for Christmas lights. Um, we've got a double socket here. It's on exactly the same circuit as we just worked on upstairs, which is nice. So we'll do our test here. We'll untwivel these, twist it together, put them in a separate sleeve, 
We'll even put a back box earth on there. We're going to drill out with the 10 mil bit first, and then we're going to back drill with a 25, and I'm going to bring some 25 mil pipe straight into the back of the socket there. And then we're going to mount a BG, actually. I've got a BG, I can't get MK. They, they haven't made any, so there's a three week wait on the MK with a timer. So all I could get was a BG, which is absolutely fine. So yeah, right there is the conduit. We will go out here. Yes, I've got my trainers on. Okay. There he is, look. This is the ornate brick. Our socket is pretty much bang on that. So I've done him on the angle. He's gonna be hidden behind here. I'll push that back up. That will run into my socket. It's running downhill, so the water's not gonna come up, but we will splodge this anyway socket on and then we'll um, get cable through. Right. There we go. So the client has bought a socket and I have told him if he wants to change it, he's bought a BG, a wife, uh, not Wi-Fi, um, you know, a, a switched socket. You can switch via the app. If he wants to put it on, he can. He just got to change that. but. Um, we've got the timer there and he will bring on the Christmas lights. I think that's what they're using them for. So we're going to mount this. I'm going to drill this out and we'll then um, bring them into the back of there. Like so. And then we will uh, we'll silicon that. We'll put him on the wall, fix him. Um, and then obviously you need to put him that way because we've got drain plugs there. You need to drill those out because these will leak. Okay, These will get moisture in them um, and they will leak. So drill the drain plugs out. Right, the conduit's coming in. I've blobbed him on the back. Uh, there's no way that any water is going to penetrate the building. I've drilled the back of that out. The conduit's going to go straight into the socket. I'll then silicon round just to give that a watertight seal. Uh, and then you don't have to do that horrible silicon round the top. Um, you can put a little bit of silicon round where your screws are, but I'm not going to bother. I've never had any trouble. And I've obviously drilled the drain plug out. So I'll show you it in a second. Right, there's my socket fixed to the wall, pipe comes in. There's no way any water is going to penetrate this. And I've drilled the drain out, doubled over my connections. I'm going to connect him up. The client will set this up as they want. I will show him how it works. We'll connect this up and we'll go in and do the board at the uh, socket end then. All right, there we go. There's the socket. I feel like I'm in the jungle, get me out of here. I put him on constant. Obviously it's quite self-explanatory. Set the time and then the dip switches um what is what brings it on i believe and if they're off that means they're off so he's on constant obviously that's off that's timer so it looks pretty pretty neat it's hidden behind the bush i've sort of put a little bush on there look there we go like that james very good a few bushes on there look it's almost looks like it's been there for years look at that Geez, that was longer than we expected. <laughs> we had to move a socket, they need a backsplash, and it's a glass one, and there's a socket smack band, so we had to move it half an inch, but I think the dry liner had put three quarters of a ton of um, plasterboard adhesive around the socket. So we're gonna get some fuel now. Thanks for joining. See you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, it costs you nada. Don't moan about the adverts, because that's what keeps us going, yeah? See you on the next one, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. bye.